Tweedshire Council is working to secure a long-term water supply for the growing shire and adapt to the impacts of climate change. Currently, Council is able to meet demand for water until approximately 2026. Council has consulted with the local community and key stakeholders over many years. The community helped identify and review the options to provide water security beyond 2026. Engagement with residents, the local Aboriginal community, government agencies, businesses and industry began in 2009. These community conversations have indicated the community's preferred option to augment the water supply is to raise the wall of Clary Hall Dam. Clary Hall Dam is located in the Tweed Shire local government area, 15 kilometres southwest of Merwoolumba in northern New South Wales. The Tweed's drinking water comes from the Tweed River, where it's drawn from the Bray Park Weir Pool and treated at the Bray Park Water Treatment Plant before being pumped to homes and businesses. During periods of low river flow, the supply is supplemented by releases from Clary Hall Dam. Construction of Clary Hall Dam was completed in 1983. Due to growth in climate change, the combined river flows and dam will not be able to provide water security beyond 2026. The proposal is to increase the dam wall height by 8.5 metres to a full supply level of RL 70 metres AHD. It will increase the capacity of the dam from 16,000 to approximately 42,300 megalitres. Raising the wall height by 8.5 metres will double the dam's footprint, increase the capacity of the dam from 16,000 megalitres to 42,300 megalitres, provide security of supply until at least 2046. The Clary Hall Dam raising also includes the following ancillary works. Constructing a new concrete line spillway, constructing access roads to the construction areas, re-establishing the quarry used to construct the original dam, raising the intake tower and access bridge, establishing new recreation facilities, relocating Telstra and essential energy infrastructure from areas that will be inundated, minor works at Cram's Farm, and upgrading the Kyogle and Clary Hall Road intersection. Tweedshire Council is also proposing a replacement of McCabe's Bridge as a separate project during a rain event, waters may rise above the full supply level, which will result in water flowing over the spillway. The spillway will rapidly remove floodwaters from the dam catchment. The dam and spillway will be designed to manage the worst possible flood scenario. This is called the Probable Maximum Flood, or PMF. If such an event were to occur, the water level in the dam will return to its normal level within approximately 48 hours. This PMF flood level is a fundamental design criteria for the dam and spillway. It is used to design the embankment wall height and the spillway. The use of this criteria means the dam will remain safe even in the most extreme events. The increased dam size means there will actually be a slight decrease in potential impacts on flood-prone land downstream from the dam. The proposal is declared to be state significant infrastructure under the State Environmental Planning Policy of 2011. As such, to progress and achieve environmental approvals, an Environmental Impact Statement or EIS is being prepared. The purpose of the EIS is to understand the extent of potential impacts of the proposal and how these can be managed. It addresses the impacts of construction as well as future operations of the dam. As with all major projects, there will be benefits and impacts, and the community and government need to decide whether the balance is right to meet public interest. This includes whether any impacts are justified to achieve project benefits. The EIS includes many expert studies focused on subjects of importance to Tweed residents and the New South Wales government. These studies include assessment of dam safety, cultural heritage, biodiversity, flooding, water quality, hydrology, traffic and road safety, noise, and air quality. These and other topics are discussed further in the EIS summary, available for download. When complete, the EIS will detail how key matters have been addressed. It also will provide guidance on how adverse impacts will be mitigated. Consultation is ongoing and will culminate in the exhibition of the EIS. We encourage residents and others to make comments and ask questions about the proposal and this summary. To do so, please visit the Your Say Tweed webpage.